How strong was the American lion compared to today's big cats? Fast bursts like a bullet out of a gun. Powerful bodies that are nearly unrivaled. Bite so strong that no one is safe. Big cats. They are some of the most dangerous predators on the entire planet, and there are only seven big cats left today. Many have gone extinct over the years, like the American lion. Once an extremely successful hunter in the Americas, the American lion was a terror to all who encountered it. But what if he encountered any of his more modern cousins? How strong is the American lion compared to today's big cats? Subscribe for big updates on big cats and all animals. American Lion The American lion lived during the late Pleistocene epoch from about 129,000 years ago and having gone extinct around 11,000 to 12,000 years ago. They were widespread across North America, ranging from Canada down to southern Mexico and as far west as what is now California, and all the way east to the Atlantic coast. However, they appeared to be absent from eastern Canada and the northeast of the United States as there were many boreal forests in those areas and the American lion preferred open habitats. The American lion was enormous, a power house. He could reach over 8 feet in length and weigh over 900 pounds. It is believed there may have been some unusually large American lions that even weighed over 1,100 pounds. Like many of the big cats of this time period, the American lion was built robustly. This gave him incredible strength, though it did make him compromise slightly on speed when compared to his modern relatives, though he could still likely hit speeds of 30 miles per hour. He did not compromise on bite strength, however, with a bite force estimated to be 1,800 pounds per square inch. That spelled bad news for the deer, horses, camels, tapers, bison, and even the mammoths in the area, as those were the prey of this muscular feline. American lions would use their excellent stealth to sneak up on prey, ambush them, and once they caught up, their powerful front limbs could grapple and hold down the prey while their jaws finished the job. Tiger Americans should feel lucky the American lion doesn't live at the same time as them now. They should also feel lucky there is no such thing as an American tiger, because the tigers that do live in Asia are ruthless killers. Yes, even of humans in certain circumstances. There was once a killer tiger in the early 1900s that killed over 400 people in India and Nepal. But most tigers aren't fixated on killing and eating humans. They focus on wild boar and deer in the region, sometimes elephant calves, sometimes if a battle arises, even crocodiles. The tiger is most certainly an apex predator in the regions of Asia that he lives in. They can get up to 10 feet long and can weigh over 700 pounds, sometimes even tipping the scales at over 800 pounds. Their paws are as big as a dinner plate, a dinner plate you might wind up on if you aren't careful, and they bite with an incredible force, 1050 psi. Second strongest bite of any living big cat, but wow, is that still a lot less than the American lion's 1800 PSI? We can see the American lion is heavier, bulkier, he's got a stronger bite, and most likely has more overall power, but the tiger is still amazingly strong. He's built longer and leaner, able to hit speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. The American lion would likely have been stronger than our modern tiger, but we wouldn't necessarily give him the championship belt. If the two fought, it would be a battle. It could go either way. But sad to say for the tiger, once that American lion got him pinned down, it would look like game over. Lion Thousands of years ago was the last time America saw wild lions. Now they're only found in a small population in India, and mostly, as everyone knows, in Africa. But today's African lion, how does he stack up against the extinct American lion? Well, the males can be 6 to 8 feet long and weigh 500 pounds easily, the large specimens climbing up to 600 pounds and over. Lions live in prides run by a coalition of males, and the entire pride hunts for their food. Zebras, wildebeest, and sometimes even the extremely dangerous 2,000-pound Cape Buffalo. But they're built far leaner and faster, hitting speeds of 50 miles per hour in a full-out sprint. Those fast twitch muscles have them racing out of the gate and covering so much ground before the prey even knows they're being chased. And then with a bite of 650 pounds per square inch of force, it's the neck of the prey that gets crushed until the lights go out. Lions have excellent eyes and other senses, not only hunting at night, 
but also during storms. Their awareness is top-notch. The advantage the African lion would have on the American lion is speed. Everywhere else, size, weight, strength, all those go in favor of the American lion. That's not to say today's lion wouldn't put up a fight. He could and he'd have a chance a slim chance. Today's lion is king of the jungle, but technically, if the American lion was still around, he wouldn't even be king of the lions. Jaguar Let's head back to the Americas, old home of the American lion, and we'll find the largest cat in all the Americas, the jaguar. Jaguars used to be found in the southernmost portions of the United States, but are now primarily found in Central America and South America, preferring habitats like tropical lowlands, wetlands, and rainforests like the Amazon. Remember how the tiger has the second strongest bite of any living cat? Well, number one lives in the mouth of the jaguar. The jaguar can actually rival the bite strength of the American lion with jaws that can exert 1500 PSI, which is also one of the strongest bites out of all the living members of the animal kingdom. His bite can crush bone and crack through tortoise shells. The jaguar is a compact and muscular cat with impressive speed, able to hit 50 miles per hour, which happens to be tied for the second fastest big cat with the lion. Jaguars spend a lot of time in trees, as they are great places to stalk their prey, and it's easy for them since they're excellent climbers. Jaguars are actually the second best climbers of trees among all living big cats. Jaguars are second best at a lot, and unfortunately, they would be second best to the American lion. They are large and powerful, but their length of 7 feet and weight of 350 pounds is a nightmare for many, but not for the larger American lion. That jaguar bite would put on some serious hurt, but the American lion's bite is even stronger, and his size and robust stature give him superior strength. The jaguar must be thanking his gods that he doesn't have to deal with this extinct feline. Leopard we mentioned the jaguar was the second best climber of trees among the living big cats. Number one is the leopard. The leopard not only climbs trees with ease, he often uses the excellent climbing skills and his impressive strength to drag his kills back up into the branches of the trees so he can eat in peace up there. Leopards are also the big cats that are the most versatile in terms of habitats that they'll live in. From deserts to forests to grasslands to mountainous regions, they're all over Africa and even Asia as well. Because of their versatility, leopards are excellent hunters, adapting to wherever they find themselves. In addition to their excellent climbing, they also have some speed, more than the American lion. However, the leopard is the slowest among big cats. His top speed is just 36 miles per hour, so he could barely beat the American lion in a foot race, but if the American lion catches him, it's not looking good. Leopards typically get to be between 4 and 5 feet long, weighing 100 to 150 pounds at most. They're strong for their size, but their size is much smaller than that of the American lion. And if you're wondering if maybe they're packing a strong bite as a secret weapon, just 300 PSI. It's enough to get the job done, but only because the job doesn't include defeating an American lion. Cougar the American lion no longer roams North America, but a different big cat does, the cougar. They're also called pumas, mountain lions, catamounts, and many other names. Whatever you call them, they're found throughout much of Western North America, from Canada down through the US, down through Mexico and Central America, and all over the South American continent. Cougars live in a variety of habitats, such as mountains, forests, deserts, and wetlands. Mountains are no problem for this mountain lion, as they can leap 18 feet up a steep cliff, and no matter the terrain, they can hit speeds of over 40 miles per hour. These are two feats this slender and agile big cat can accomplish that the American lion could not. However, However, he wasn't built for agility, he was built for power and domination. The cougar's four quarters are extremely powerful, and they can pin down prey that is far larger than them, but nothing mammoth-sized. Cougars can be six to seven feet long and weigh 150 to 200 pounds. They have a bite force of 750 PSI, and while all that is impressive in the modern world, and even among many of the living big cats, it's no match for the much larger American lion. The cougar could outrun the American lion, but if the American lion caught him, he'd dismantle him. Cheetah This next cat is famous for his speed. The cheetah can hit blistering speeds of 70 miles per hour and higher. He'd run circles around the American lion, 
but hopefully those circles wouldn't be too close. When the cheetah is chasing his prey, after catching up to them, his next move is to swipe with his paw to either trip them or knock them off balance. After doing so, he jumps on top of them and wraps his mouth around their neck, suffocating them. The cheetah's bite force is 475 psi, so it'll do damage, but it's far from the strongest bite around. See, the cheetah is built for speed. Four to five feet long, 100 to 150 pounds, slender frame. That's how he gets to be the fastest land animal on Earth. That's also why, when running circles around the American lion, the cheetah better not make those circles too tight. All the American lion needs to do is get one or two good shots in on the cheetah, and he'd have him right where he wants him. The cheetah wouldn't be able to take down an animal that size with his method, so he'd have no chance against the American lion. Snow Leopard We've reached the last living species of big cat, the snow leopard. Not as closely related to the leopard as you'd think, the snow leopard lives in high altitudes of the many mountains in Central and Southern Asia. He's more closely related to the tiger than the leopard, and though the leopard part of his name is a misnomer, the snow part is accurate, as he thrives in the snow and handles icy terrains and temperatures better than any big cat. Better than the American lion would, too. They could run faster than the American lion as every big cat could, but their leaping ability is impressive. 20 feet directly upwards, and sometimes up to 50 feet in distance. If the two met in the snow leopard's mountainous and snowy terrain, he may have an advantage. The American lion wouldn't be used to navigating that type of terrain. The snow leopard moves about it with grace. But the snow leopard is typically 5 feet long and 120 pounds. As soon as the American lion could lay his paws on him, that would be a forever pause for the snow leopard. The snow leopard, the leopard, and the cougar wouldn't have much chance against the American lion due to his size advantage. The cheetah wouldn't either, but at least he could never be caught. The jaguar can rival his bite. The African lion would have a decent chance against the American lion, and the tiger would have the best chance. But when it comes to overall strength, the American lion has them all beat.